YouTube, it's your boy Boxing Wave 101, and we back with some more coverage. The Cullum Smith John Ryder fight has just ended. Uh, Cullum Smith wins by unanimous decision. He retains his uh, WBA uh, super middleweight title. Uh, it was a great fight. Um, John Ryder came in and he was not looking to lay down. I'm, I'm thinking Cullum Smith thought John Ryder was going to be an easy task for him because John Ryder, he isn't the most um, notable guy on his uh, on Cullum Smith resume. So maybe he thought it was going to be easier. But sometimes when you get in the ring, a fighter can um, can bring uh, more than expected, especially when you're like the top dog in your division. Uh, sometimes you get the best out of uh, each opponent, uh, which I feel this is what happened in this fight. Uh, just a little background on John Ryder. He was he's 31 years old. He was a southpaw, which I feel gave Cullen Smith a bit of trouble. Um, I mean, not a lot because he did win by United's decision. No robbery here. Clear victory. But maybe he kind of caught uh, Colin Smith off guard. I do know you have training camp and you do train for things like that. But obviously, different guys, different speed, different uh, tactics. You know, just all in all, John Ryder, he was not looking to lay down. So he did bring a real good fight. And uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to have another big payday um, soon. Uh, both guys are out of the UK. Uh, Colin Smith, look. I'm, my takeaways from Cullen Smith, uh, first, I'm a very big uh, supporter of Cullen Smith. I'm a, a real big fan. I actually think he's the best 168 pounder. This fight does make me lean slightly towards Benavidez, but I'm going to stick to what I believe. And I feel Cullen Smith is overall the more complete fighter. With all that being said, Cullen Smith sometimes comes into a fight and I feel Either he doesn't stick to the game plan or he doesn't exactly have a game plan. I feel he just kind of, I just feel he kind of goes off the rhythm of the other fighter and just makes sure he beats them to the punch. Look, he's won the Super Six Series, so he is a really good fighter, very talented. But some fighters, such as Canelo, um, and just, just a lot of the top guys, they come in there with a mindset saying, I'm going to make them miss. I'm going to make them pay. I'm going to go to the body. I'm going to go to the head. It seems like Cullen Smith just kind of goes with the motions as if he's hitting the mitts. It gets the job done, but can it take him to the next level, beating people such as Canelo, who he has been calling out, been in front of uh, cameras, you know, just, I guess, in the Canelo sweepstakes. Canelo is not John Ryder. John Ryder was previously had four losses and one knockout. So he has been knocked out. And out of those four losses, he also has lost to Rocky Fielding, who Canelo beat in three rounds. So Canelo is definitely three, four times better fighter than John Ryder. Take nothing away from John Ryder, a really good fighter. But Canelo is a totally different, a, a totally different ball game. OK, so in my opinion, this is. Uh, it's not a prediction video, but I feel maybe Colin Smith may need another fight to prove Hey, I am that guy to make a statement. I felt this fight was the best time to make a statement, but he's only 29 years old. He's still young. Canelo's still young. Canelo isn't going anywhere. Canelo is in three divisions, so that fight will always be there. Colin Smith, he maybe need another fight to solidify himself and say, I'm the king at this division. You got to come through me. But look, I'm going to leave it at that. I just want to let you guys know, Colin Smith wins by unanimous decision still retains his wba super middleweight title like comment subscribe and we out Peace.